Welcome to this Oracle SQL Developer demonstration. In this demo, I'll be showing you the DBA performance feature. I'm using SQL Developer version 4.0, which is our latest release. So Oracle collects statistics to help you tune your database and diagnose any performance issues. In the performance feature, which we've added to the DBA Navigator, this is where you can create objects and read reports on those statistics. If this is your first time accessing the DBA Navigator, you'll need to create a connection. I'm going to connect to my system user. And here you have access to all the DBA related features. So we've added in the performance feature. This feature is part of the Oracle Diagnostic Pack, so you want to make sure you have a license before using it. Here you can take a look at all your snapshots. A snapshot just shows you data for a specific time period. When you expand it on the tree, you'll notice that there's a filter next to it. That just means that the most current 10 are displayed. Just click on one and you can take a look at the details. Oracle generates a snapshot for every hour and retains it for eight days. But at any time, you can go ahead and just create a snapshot. If you want to take a look at all the snapshots, you can review it in the report. Similar to our other reports, you can do a sort. And you can sort by all the ADDM findings. You can also do a filter. And you can drill down into the report to get more detail. You can also take a look at your baselines. And you can create a baseline. So a baseline is just a set of snapshots. Here, I'll create a baseline. I'll select a start and end period. And before you generate it, you can take a look at the SQL. If you want to generate a baseline report on a regular basis, you can create a baseline template. Here you can view the ADDM reports. Just double click on any of the reports to drill down into more detail. Here's the summary and the findings. And you can delete or change the expiration of this report. You can generate a ASH report. You can select a set time period, or if you need a longer time frame, you can do a custom one. Use our calendar picker to select your time frame. And then you can apply a filter to it. Once you generate your report, you can take a look at the top events, your top SQL and PL SQL. You can also view this report in your browser. And if you need to send this report out, you can save it in HTML. You can also do the same with the AWR report. You need to select a uh, snapshot range. And in the workload repository report, you can take a look at all the statistics. You can compare 
two snapshots. And you can generate a SQL report. Thank you for watching this demonstration. For more information, visit SQL Developer on the Oracle Technology Network.